we know that this is an issue that everyone here is experienced about. And we are sure you have plenty of questions. Yes? If smartphones have been shown to be physically harmful to humans, why hasn't the government introduced some control on them? That's a good question. There are a number of reasons why this could be the case. Perhaps the government does not feel that, uh, that the potential damage is sufficient. Perhaps the government feels there is not enough evidence or good quality evidence about, it, uh, about for it to introduce any controls. Do you have anything to add, Sandy? Thank you. Yes, I do. Um, it may also be that uh, since smartphones are such a new technology, the government is giving the manufacturers time to improve, uh, to develop a safer version of this te technology. We are sure that if a company releases a safer product, people would be more likely to buy it, and soon all the phones will be safer. Has this answered your questions? Yes, thank you. Excellent. Are there any other questions? Now, because we have had limited time, there are some elements we didn't get to cover. However, we would like to make sure that we have been clear about the information we have presented. So, if you have got any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, what sort of technologies are there which would allow smartphones to send information to doctors? Uh, yes, I will answer this <laughs> if you don't mind. Okay, go ahead. Well, thanks. Well, one good example is a device that can plug into your smartphone, which can take blood sugar readings for diabetics. The device can keep a record of how much your blood sugar levels fluctuate and can send warnings to your doctor if certain patterns emerge. Does that answer your question? Yes, I see. Thank you. Exciting, isn't it? Just imagine what we will be able to do soon.